Very well, welcome back, let's play Golden Sun 2. Last time we arrived here in Yeldam, we uh, got to know Sunshine, the blacksmith, the one and only blacksmith in the whole world. He forged us some items, we went to the open swamp and got some other items, and now, before we head out to see, let's we'll check out this room in Yeldam. We heard in Yeldam there are some kids who sing songs and do dances. And they were taught about this from Yep, a sailor who's now gone. Uh, not yet. This is where all the kids in Yellum come to play. Nobody complains we play around out here. Uh, yep, wrote all the children's songs when he was out here in his own private space. Now, I want to get to mind read, you guys. I stored all these objects around here were brought here by Yep long, long ago. If you look around, you'll see that everything was arranged in accordance with the song. Running around in circles here while singing one of Yep's songs is pretty tough. There's a lot of stuff to remember for each song and stuff to play without making any mistakes. There's a game that goes along with the song, but it's tough. I want to play something else. I want to hear the children's song and stories of Eden meetings. I wonder if Yep is eating anything in his songs. Uh, is there anything else here? What about you? Yep's songs are a lot of fun because he made this game that goes along with them. Let's hear the songs then! Here, let me show you! If you want to go to the stars, if you want to go to the stars, go north past the twins, passing two wheels, run diesel twice round the trunk. East without waste and head to the east, the past three to the north. There, run round thrice and wait for the waves. Then when they stop, run north and go to the stars. If you race full of folly and take the wrong way, you'll find yourself a watery grave. Do you want to hear the second children's song you have wrote? If you want to go to the moon, if you want to go to the moon. Face west from the stars and run straight past three squirrels, then circle round twice. Ace without waste and head to the south, then one real west. There, run round twice and wait for the waves. When they stop, run south and go for the moon. If you race full of folly and take the wrong way, you'll find yourself a watery grave. Okay, so now, do you want to hear the first children song? If you want to go to the sun, if you want to go to the sun. Face south from the moon and run straight round two th straight through two wheels, then circle around twice. It's without waste and head to the west, then six to the north. There, run round thrice and wait for the waves. When they stop, run north and go for the sun. If you race full of folly and take the wrong way, you'll find yourself a watery grave. That's it, that's all the games we have for the songs. If you want to play some more, just give me a holler. So those definitely do not look like in like navigation instructions, right? They do. And you don't have to remember them. But just know that they are there and they exist. But the first time around I had no idea what those are where for. I mean I got it, they were like, okay, sure, these are they're meant to be for something. But when I got to the point where I had to use them, I was like, uh I don't remember them, but guess we'll try to figure it out and I figured it out anyway, so you don't really need them. Uh, they're just there. Now, there are two options here. I could go down and do something over here. But I feel like the best course of action would be to do this part here. Wait, is this this one or that one? No, that one has the thing. And what does this one have? God, I forgot what's over here. You know what? We'll go over here. We'll go over there. I'm pretty sure that's not what I m want to do, but I'm gonna check that place out anyway. It does have some stuff, but I don't think we can do all of it yet. You know, it might be best to actually not go there. I'm just gonna go there and enter the one town that is there. So that I am on the map. I know there's... I think, what, what's over here? Oh god, ah, that's the rock. Okay, so you have the rock here. The rock gives you... I'm trying to remember what you need. 
Okay, so you need to do this before you can do everything over here. You need what's here to do... S <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out. I mean, I know what I have to do, but it's like you can do it in, in very weird way in orders. There is what the the water rock here. There's also a town that we haven't seen. There's also a town over here, which also has a rock, by the way. There's a town here we haven't seen. There is a dungeon here we haven't seen. There's a dungeon here we haven't seen. But for to do this dungeon, we need the thing from this rock. To do this dungeon, we need the thing from this rock. In order to do this town, we have to do this dungeon, this dungeon, and this one. Because we haven't done this yet. I mean, we entered it, we got the scene and got out. But there's more to that dungeon. We could do it now, but I think the best course of action would be to just go here. Get the thing. Then go back. Yeah, then go back here. Finish what's in here. And then we'll be able to also complete the trading quest with the with the cow and the animals. It's complicated. Okay, it's complicated. Too long to read, it's complicated. I know what I have to do, but it's complicated. I should probably attack these guys. Right? Wow, three damage. Three whole damage. They're not worth my time, okay? I'm just gonna run. Running seems like the best option. These enemies, okay, if it's only one, if it's only one, we're, we might as well attack. One attack from Zena and it's, it, we killed it. Okay. I'm just gonna go here. Enter the one town, so it's on the map. And then we're just gonna leave. Because there is stuff to do here, there are people to talk to and stuff, but there's also the thing that we can't get yet. And uh, this was the Apodzi Island. Uh, there is a Dzini right here, but we can't get it until we finish what's over here. So we might as well do that and then come back here and check out the place. So that we have all the tools to do everything that we need to do. Uh, we checked all, the, all these. There's no point. There's no point of checking all of those points again. I don't even know if I want to speed this up. Like, once we get to that town... Oh shoot, there's only one enemy, okay. I guess all we're gonna do in that town today is probably talk to the locals and learn what's going on and... Because there's a dungeon, but the dungeon might as well leave it for next time, don't want to do it today. Okay, we're almost there, come on. Come on, you can do it! Takes too much to get the ability to... Sail with no random encounters. I don't think you can even do it in the th third game. You can do it in this one. Super late in the game, but you can't do it. You cannot do it in the third game, I believe. Right, so this is... Izumo. This is... Hang on, let me... No. Let me go out again. Yeah, it's very Japan-like, and it makes sense. It makes sense. This, this town is very Japan-like, and even the... The island is... It's kind of shaped like Japan. So yeah, let's talk to the locals. I had a lot of trouble here in Izumo lately. I want to scare you, but you should leave and fast right now. Seriously, run. Also, it's called Izumo. And in Genshin Impact, you have it in Izumo, which is also uh, Japan-themed. So there must be something going on with the, with the, with the names. The Great Serpent of Mikaze has awakened. What does it all mean? The dragon is the guardian of the island, so why is he threatening us so cruelly? Also, we have some... well... Well, I'm not gonna spoil it yet, but... We'll see. Lady Izume doesn't want to sacrifice uh, Kushinada. But that's the only way to appease the serpent. I'm sure the can kind or to Lady Izume doesn't want to sacrifice anyone. Okay, what about you guys? Izume's leaders have always possessed certain special powers, always. Uh, let me tell you, the combined power of Suza and Lady Yuzuma is, stun is stunning to see. The power Lady Yuzuma and Suza possess comes from the ancestor. Cannot be learned and cannot be imitated. One day Kushinada put on a display of power so great that it almost rivaled Suza's. Such a shame, I really want to ha see how strong she might have become. 
was the day those bright rocks fell from the sky. That's when Kushinada gained her powers. What do you have? Okay, so this is new junk. Um, ooh. Nine points of defense, not worth it. Also, we have to um, just reach the classes a bit. Ooh, wait a minute. Hickson Mail, Jerkin. I mean, these are better. Sure, let's go. Carrying too much. Okay, can we sell some junk? We have the smoke bomb. Okay, we're good. We're, we're free now. Uh, sure. We'll sell the Ixion mail. It's fine. We can buy it back if we need to. Not sure if we will, but... It's armor. It's not, as long as they're not weapons. Some armor I would definitely suggest not to sell yet. Like the clarity circuit, the clarity, the clarity circuit that boosts wind. Artifacts? Ooh. Ooh! What the hell? Okay, uh... There's that, I guess. Uh, God, there's a lot of junk. Okay, this is very cool. Uh, there's also this one that we haven't seen. Cyclone Slash. Uh, then what? Oh god, the boost attack is a thing. Uh, so much stuff. This is starting to get a bit, a bit crowded here, okay? Uh, I'm running low money here. What do I want? Do I want a boost attack? I mean... It's always good to have more attack, what can I say? You know what? <laughs> Fuck it, I'm gonna take this. Pierce? Sure. Sure. Oh, five, five thousand, five thousand for that. Cool. Um, sure, game ticket. And oh, we can buy any of these. We'll, we'll get back after the dungeon, then we'll have enough money to buy all this, all the stuff. Wow, I forgot what that does. What does that do? And this is bad details. Attack ninety nine. Guess that poisons. I am not sure what it does. But we'll figure it out. Of course I knew the legend of the Great Serpent. Everyone does, but I didn't believe it. Sacrificing a young girl to a serpent year after year is too cruel to be true. If things like these are really going to art the hint, we get few enough travelers to this. If I were younger, I might have been the sacrifice. Ah, it's so horrible. What is that serpent plan on doing with those young women? Surely he doesn't intend to marry all of them. So we have some kind of... Uh, Orochi situation here, and if you played Okami, you know exactly what kind of situation we're in. It's pretty much the same thing. There's even a guy called Susa. It's obviously Miro Susano. Well, Susan O, I should say. How's it pronounced? It? Susan O, I believe, right? It's Susan O. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, Susa's going to try and kill the serpent and save his beloved Kushinada. He's so fearless. Well, if losing Kushinada makes Susa return to his wild anyways, wild ways. Uh, I hope he fights the serpent. If he loses, at least he won't have to bear living without Kushinada. My name is Arkuni. I'm a great dancer, except I don't feel much like dancing these days. I'm going to be sacrificed, but that doesn't mean I'm happy. My dear friend Kushinada doesn't deserve this either. Oh, lots of people here. What the hell? What I want to know is what caused our legendary guardian to awaken. The serpent now is supposed to awaken in the islands in grave danger. I wonder what calamity is going to befall us. The dragon's bane seem to have put the serpent under, but for how long? The serpent will drink as much dragon's bane as it can find, right down to the last drop. Nobody knows why they like it so much, considering how much it weakens them. It must be like catnip to them. I'm old and I had enough for this world. Why wouldn't I make a good service for the dragon? Sacrifice for the dragon. Our guardian serpent is really just a dragon. Why do dragons always want maiden sacrifice? This is a good question! One that we'll never answer, probably. Serpent can't stand sunlight, so it only shows up in the village at night, just as the legend says. The only answer I can give to that question is that is a serpent of culture. There's no way to get sunlight into a serpent's cave no among Mikas, just no way. I can't find my dagger. I had it earlier what it did. I wonder if Suzel. According to legend, that's the only thing that can put the serpent back to sleep. As for the dagger, I'll bet Suzel's planning on using it to save Kushinaga. So 
he also stole a weapon apparently. This Sousa stole a weapon uh, to kill the serpent. A while back a volcano erupted on the mainland, we saw brilliant flashes of light to the west. Great dragon awoke shortly afterward, it caused a terrible panic throughout the island. They are definitely not talking about what happened at the beginning of Golden Sun 1. I wonder if all the recent disaster around the dragon from his lum uh, from his lumber on the mountain. But yeah, obviously, what happened? What is happening here? That the serpent has reawakened. It's all due the, to the big eruption at the beginning of Golden Sun One on Mount Halif. The daughters of the family in that home requested that we use a lottery to choose the victims. Kushinada's always had bad luck at games of chance. I bet those girls were counting on it, or they rigged it. Let's question them a little. I'm so relieved that I'm not this year's sacrifice, but what happens next year? I only suggested this lottery idea because I didn't want to be sacrificed. It looks like Kushinada really does have bad luck, like everyone says. Okay, so maybe they were not trying to to get her killed. Okuni, Kushinada, and Lady Azume all drew in the lottery to choose the next sacrifice with us. Can't believe we drew Kushinada. Is that chance? Fate? I guess you never know. She has been so sad all the time, even since Kushinada was named the next sacrifice. I never liked the old wild Suza, but he's so different now. Maybe I can be his new girlfriend. Or they were trying to get this guy to marry one of these girls. If the Lady Uzuma's name has been drawn in the lottery, would she have been the next sacrifice? Lady Uzuma has been able to focus on governing Uzuma lately. I think it's because Suza's calmed down. Okay, these are very suspicious patches of grass. Choosing the next sacrifice by lottery seems such an arch method. Far too old to understand the ideas of these modern times. They seem far too extreme. Sacrifice is great that this should not be a turn by chance alone. But I guess it kind of makes sense. Like it's some if nobody wants to do it, we might as well you might as well do that. And I mean, hardly anyone is going to do it. But hardly anyone is going to volunteer. That's what I'm saying. Brave warrior will appear to defeat the serpent by the next full moon. Is this the legend? though? no one believes that. No one. Why won't anyone listen to Ella Yuzume? They always trusted her, at least up until now. Uh, we'll, we'll talk to her as well. As a child, Suza was as wild as could be and brought his elder sibling Lady Yuzume much strife. Kushinada is the only one who tamed his wild ways. Of course, no one wants to see her sac sacrificed. Lady Yuzume loves her brother dearly. I'm sure he should take Kushinada's place if she could. Uh, before going to that house, I believe... Yeah, okay. See this ring of giant stones? They've been here for ages. No one knows who would put them here. See how they make this beautiful circle? Except for that one, right? Susan moved it. He didn't even use his hands. He surely holds the secret to a great power. So, if you put this here, it's obviously it obviously makes the formation for the reveal. Uh, but if we need, even if we do use reveal and find out what's hiding it, we'll eventually hit a dead end. So we might as well not do it and wait until we. Can't do everything in there. If I were a guardian spirit, demand the sacrifice. It's inexcusable. A true guardian would never request such a cruel tribute. If only I possess the power to prevent this from happening. Please grant me strength. I could be sacrificed our beloved Kushinada. It's not fair. I don't want the serpent of Mount Mikaz to, earth Kush to eat Kushinada. Oh, won't somebody help her? When I get older, I might have to be a sacrifice too. What's a sacrifice? Nobody wants to be a sacrifice, so a sacrifice must be something pretty scary. Yeah, you die, kid. Unless you're lucky enough to have some travelers coming to the town at the right time to save your ass. Did they talk to you? Yeah, I did. Okay. Forgot if I talked to this guy. Yeah, Sousa came through here on his way to save Kushinada. The jerk knocked me flat and just kept on going. It was totally wild. You know, I can't stand Suza, but I understand how he feels. Kushinada's a really sweet girl. Even if Suza tried to rescue Kushinada, she wouldn't just run away with him. I think she still believes that a hero will appear and defeat a serpent. That must be it. Why cannot he be the hero, huh? Little Zuma says that a hero would appear, but I don't know. There's no hero coming. Suza came running past Weeb and Kushinada wouldn't stop them. And who are you? Suza, don't come for me. If I see you, I'll surely lose the courage to sacrifice myself for Izumo. If I run, Lady Izuma and all Izuma will suffer greatly. Please don't come for me. Okay, so this is the... Yeah, Lady Izuma has foretold the coming of a hero, and I believe her. And so I shall remain here until the coming of the next full moon and the hero. So this is Kushinada. I don't think we can talk to her, right? 
Okay, so, okay. We can't do that. We can't talk to her. Let's go over here. The serpent ate all of our food and vanished into the darkness. It ruined all the fest it ruined the festival. Before the serpent ate all of our food, it was a terror to be old. But afterwards, it wasn't so bad. No doubt about it. The serpent sure knows good food knows good food when he eats it. The serpent lives on Mount Mikaj in our tongue, its original name meant the Undying Mountain. As long as the serpent lives on this peak, I doubt the serpent will ever die either. Legend has it that Mount Mikaj is enshrouded by a mysterious power. I wonder if that's the source of the serpent's eternal life. Hmm. The serpent attacked the town one night during a festival. It didn't leave until it had eaten all the food we prepared for our feast. The serpent would eat up anything we put in front of it. Its hunger knows no bounds. There's no point in dancing if Fukuni is not here. Fukuni is such a great dancer. It's just so much more fun when she's here to dance with us. And finally, we have you. Suza's not here. I believe he went to Mount Mikaj. He believes he can save Kushinada, and so he has gone to fight the serpent. He truly believes he can defeat the great serpent of Mikaj. It's all for naught, though, as a hero will certainly appear and destroy the great serpent. If the serpent defeats Suza, he'll be alone. I pray that our guardian's anger is not aroused and that Suza will be protected. And that's it. That's all we have learned. And you know, guess what we're gonna have to do? We're gonna have to go and be the hero, or rather, we're gonna go and help Suza be the hero. Just like you know, Kami. Kind of. Suza is not that dumb like Susano. Well, it's not like Susano in Okami was dumb, he was just playing dumb. But yeah, here's Gaia's rock. And it's another rock, you know, that means it's gonna be a long journey. A long journey that will start in the next episode, though. See you all then.